Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LSPDFR tutorial. Today we're going to be teaching you how to update your LSPDFR since Rockstar did come out with update. So everything has been updated. LSPDFR, Rage Plugin, Hook, and Script Hook V are all updated. Big shout out to the creators of them for getting it done so fast. We really do appreciate it. I love LSPDFR and I know you do too. So let's go ahead and get you back into the game. So the very first thing you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and go. So LSPDFR, for some reason here recently, it's just been showing LSPDFR as a virus. So I'm going to show you how to fix that real fast. So it will just download for you real fast. So what you guys want to do is go to your Windows security. So you go down here, type here to search. You can just type in Windows and you're going to see it pop up. Windows security. We're going to go ahead and click that. We're going to go right here to virus and threat protection. You're going to go right here where it says virus and threat protection settings. Hit manage settings. And you're going to go real time protection and just turn this off for a moment. So you're going to click yes right there. It asked me if I wanted to do that. I clicked yes. So you can see it's off right now. So this will allow you to download it. If, you, if you're updating your LSP to you know it's legit. It's not a virus. Um, and you can see there's 17 million downloads on it. So now what we're going to do is hit download this file. We're going to go ahead and let that go through. We're going to go ahead and scroll down here to the bottom. Hit agree and download. We're going to go to setup, the very first one. We're going to hit download. And we're going to go ahead and let that go through. So once this is done, it's going to go ahead and pop up here for me. So you're going to see it right there. I'm going to click open as soon as it is done. Just like so. So you can see right here, it says downloaded. Make sure you trust LSPDFR, okay, before you open it. What I'm going to do is hit these three dots right here where it says more actions. I'm going to hit keep. I'm going to go to show more and I'm going to keep anyway. Okay. So that allows me to go ahead and do it. And then I'm going to go right here. It says windows protected your PC. I'm going to hit more info. I'm going to run anyway. Okay. I'm going to click yes, where it has us set up and then bam, um, it is setting up LSPDFR for us. So we're going to go ahead and click English. We're going to click. Okay. Click next and click. I agree. Click next. And you're going to want to make sure you find where your GTA five main directory is. If you don't know where to find that, you just go to steam. Right click on Grand Theft Auto 5 and browse local files and it'll pull up your GTA 5 main directory. So you guys should already know where that is. Um, so what we're going to do is hit install. And we're going to go ahead and install that back to our GTA 5 main directory. We're going to hit finish. And then we're going to go right here. I'm going to enlarge this. We're going to go ahead and let this go through. I'm going to hit next right here. I'm going to go show license. I'm going to go ahead and let that go through. It's the same thing as installing LSPDFR. You're just updating it. So we're going to click accept. And then we're going to go ahead and click do it for me. Okay. So right there, we just installed LSPDFR and Rage Plugin Hook because Rage Plugin Hook comes with the LSPDFR download. So now what we need to install is Script Hook V. So I'm going to go right here to Script Hook V. Um, you're going to want to hit GTA 5, hit Script Hook V. All this stuff will be linked down in the description for you. So it's quick and easy for you. Um, so what we're going to do, you can see it's been updated uh, September 20th, 2024. Today, we're going to click download. We're going to go ahead and open file right here and i use winmar to open up my zip files we're going to go ahead and pull this up right here go to bin folder and grab these three files i'm going to go to my grand theft auto 5 main directory and then what i'm going to do is go ahead and take these three files drag and drop in here so we're going to update script hook v replace files and destination just like so now there's a couple more steps that we have to do that stuff's been updated now what we need to do is go here Go to Rockstar Game Launcher. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to turn Battle Eye off. So go ahead and put my password in. You guys don't need to be spying on me, okay? Don't do it. I don't, I don't even know my damn password. There we go. What you want to do is go to settings. So Grand Theft Auto 5, you're going to... So since we're on Grand Theft Auto 5 right here, we're going to go to settings. And what you're going to do is it says battle eye right here. So you're going to disable that. It should be yellow right there. Just click it and it should go to a clear box. And there you go. So you guys will be able to take that off. So you don't have to worry about that no more. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is once you guys have that done, we're going to go over to our GTA 5 main directory. Let's go to the LSPDFR folder. Let's go to LSPDFR file right here. Right click, click edit. And then what we are going to do is go right here where it says main preload all models. I'm going to put that to false so we don't have any texture loss problems. And we're going to click file, click save, just like so. Click X right there. And then what you guys want to do is we're going to go ahead and click X right here on this. 
go back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Let me enlarge this. We're going to go right here to a Rage Plugin Hook. Time to open the game up, baby. So we're going to open up Rage Plugin Hook. It's going to have its first time set up right here. We're going to go right here where it says Advanced Settings. Nope. Game Settings. We're going to go to Revert Game Version, and it should show active right here. If you guys are not seeing this right here, go to Backup Game Version. Always back up your current version. So right here, you're going to want to hit that, okay? So you hit that. It's going to create a backup for you, and it should go ahead and have this in here for you. So I can delete a couple of these because I don't need them no more. They are outdated, way outdated. I mean, I got 3095, 3258, 3274. I've been keeping them all. So I'm going to delete these real fast. And we're going to go with the one that says active. So you guys can see right here, once this gets out of my way, um, supported. So it's supported. You'll see it all green down here. It says active, and you can hit save and launch just like so click okay and let's go and open the game up baby let's get in gta 5 y'all are good to go there you go perfect hit that like button for me hit that like button for me i greatly appreciate it hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel because we have tons of tutorials on this channel but we're getting into the game so you can see we're loading up gta 5 i'm gonna hop all the way inside the game so you guys can see that we're gonna be in there and then we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and get all the way in there. Hopefully, you're having a great day. Hopefully, you're having a had a great week. It's Friday finally, and what better way to end my Friday than having LSPDFR updated, having your guys' game updated? That's what I'm here for—to help each and every single one of you. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a couple seconds for it to load up. You can see loading story mode with Rage Plug and Hook. It's not giving us no problems because we fixed the battle eye, and then we also um updated everything so we're good to go i'm just trying to get inside this game just to show y'all everything's gonna work so let's go ahead and get in here as soon as we get in here we're gonna start loading some stuff up just to show you everything's going through we're not getting any messages saying games outdated anything like that so come on let's go ahead and load it in All right, we're getting in the game now. It's going to load us in here. I should have did no load. Uh, should have changed the settings up in there to change it where don't load any plugins on startup. Because I don't like loading LSPDFR on startup. Um, but you can see we're at the station. I'm going to hit F4, reload all plugins. Hit enter. Just like so. Let that load up everything right there. And once everything goes through... Perfect. See, that's all loading up. And then we're going to type in Force Duty. Good old Force Dookie. No, I don't want print info. What are you doing to me? All right. Force Duty. Everything's going to load up. Now, the sucky part about um, updates coming out is some of the plugins have to be updated. So you might have a problem with some of the plugins. You might not. You never know. Um, but let's go ahead and check my EUP. EUP is working. Good old Georgia State Patrol, baby. We just did a patrol on them. You can see my script took V or my um, simple trainer is working. And you can see all these crackhead cops over here. Why is there so many cops? Go to work. Get out here and protect the community. Jesus. Who were they pointing a gun at? I don't know. But you guys are in the game. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Stay blessed. Stay safe out there. Enjoy it. See you all in the next one. Peace. one more thing before we end the video hopefully you guys are still here make sure you guys turn your real-time protection back on so we're going to go back to on right there so it still protects your pc from viruses okay had to put that in there almost messed up so make sure you guys turn that back on because you always want that on um i just turned it off to show you how to install lspdfr download it so make sure you turn that back on thank you all for watching peace